Hey everyone, it's Dalton Adult Tenants TFs, and today we're taking a look at the Transformers Command Wars Voyager class. Galvatron with his Titan Master Nucleon, and right off the bat, I'm going to say this is a very inaccurate portrayal of how the Titan Master works with this. We'll get into that later. Onto the back, we've got the images of Galvatron in his three modes, and it says here, you know, the usual thing. Then Nucleon gives Galvatron a universal sit systems upgrade with powerful but unstable results hinting about his insanity throughout season three. So really quick to look at the little collector card. Very nice. See he's pretty much maxed out here and then Nucleon aka Megatron adds a decent amount all the way through. So go ahead and start off Galvatron here in jet mode which is very much inspired, I mean it's just one of those afterthought modes, but it is inspired by the Energon Megatron, which was used for Galvatron later on, or if you go by the Japanese series, it was already Galvatron. But I mean, it, it draws a few cues from that, like the cannon being just one of the weapons, the shape of the nose cone, just some of it. Uh, other than that, I mean, it's not really anything to write home about, so. Uh, it does have a few little details like the fin, the opening cockpit, which has Nucleon inside. There's a little bit of a QC issue on mine, we'll get to that here shortly. But other than that, not much else, you do get these little side fins here. Now, on my camera I'm seeing it's coming out more of a blue, but it is a nice deep purple, kind of like what we got with a uh, bombshell or shrapnel. Uh, the gray here is, eh, it's kind of that cheapo gray. You got the gun metal throughout here. And this weird kind of, I, I don't know what to call it, it's kind of just a chocolate brown or charcoal color. don't know why they went with that. I mean it's even up here on the fin. So I, I don't get it. Anyways, let's get this guy into the mode we came to see, other than robot mode, the cannon. So what I want to do is you want to take these little tabs right here and they go right into these little slots here on the hips, or the thighs, and you want to just bring those all the way up, just like that. Why is it not wanting to cooperate? There we go. Let's get the other foot in there. So there's that. I want to take the cannon off here. And come on, stay together. I want to bring these sections down. And bring down the treads. Same thing, rotate, rotate, and rotate. Next thing you want to do is bring this whole nose cook section around and down, bring this back, and from here we just unfold or fold up the cannon, hold this piece down, and plug that right into there, and we've got Galvatron as his usual, you know, mobile mobile cannon due to the treads, just the gun placement pretty much. Uh, you can take Nucleon here, take him out, and let's take just a quick look at him and go ahead and go over what is wrong with my particular figure. So there he is, I mean, looks just like Megatron down everything, how he's molded. Now you can see here a little problem. The curve is here on the front, the curve is on the back. Yes, this Nucleon has two left arms. I mean, you can still get a little bit of movement out of there, but if you move it too much, it's just going to pop right off. See, there we go. Okay, so now that we got that taken care of, let's go ahead and do another size comparison that I completely and totally forgot about. My BotCon all in Zerk. So now you can truly see the difference in Headmaster size. So between the original 
you know, Headmaster bodies and the new Titan Masters. I mean, even the size of the heads. So, still love the design of this head. Anyways, let's go ahead and transform Galvatron here into robot mode. Actually, one other thing I forgot to mention is so yeah um, one little thing you can do is take Luke Lan here and post him on here yet he doesn't even sit on there all that well so let's go ahead and get Galvatron into robot mode very easy to get to from here you just want to remove the cannon straighten out these these will obviously become the legs flip those around and have to flip those back. Flip that down. Rotate the waist. And here would be a great time for me to raise my camera. So from here, bring these up like that. Bring out The fists, which are on those ratchets, if you didn't hear them. Let's get them all straightened out. Put down these shoulder pads. Put that up. And you can bring this up and back. Now from here, you want to take Nucleon, Megatron, whatever you want to call them, just Galvatron's head. Plug that on and open the chest to reveal the mask. Now I don't care much for this gimmick, it doesn't work right. It just very poorly executed. Looks like he's wearing just a really bad cutout. Like he's like he's at one of those carnivals, he's at one of those little things where you stick your head in and you know. Oh, look, I'm this person. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm getting from this. Thankfully, though, Fake Buster has made upgrades for him, including one that we'll get to with an issue here right now. The cannon doesn't plug in anywhere on the side of the arms, which you would expect from Galvatron. It instead plugs in on the front, which I don't care much for that. It hinders the articulation in the arm. So, you can either drill a 5mm hole through here, and do it that way or go I'm gonna go the non-permanent route with it and get the little piece that moves it from here to the side yeah it hangs off a little bit further but at least you know I don't have to do any permanent modifications to this other than painting which I do plan on painting this guy up to look a little bit better I'd rather pay the three dollars to paint it than pay sixty bucks for there you go, fifty, sixty dollars for the Voyager. Or for the you know, the Takara. Uh, but as far as articulation goes, without the mask, uh Nucleon does of course get the three hundred and sixty degree movement side to side, up and down, but with that mask he only gets to there and there. So let's go ahead and leave that up. Shoulders rotate 360 degrees on a swivel without the shoulder pad in the way they get up up there and back to there they rotate about 90 degrees out actually more than that so good range outward uh, bicep swivel double jointed elbows if you want to use those though if you use this joint it looks a little weird so it's, it's just more natural to use the upper joint maybe use them both in tandem to get some different poses the waist if you rotate this down rotates uh, forward and back at the hips in and out thigh swivel decent range of movement at the knee about 90 degrees if you want to use that you can get more uh, ankles are on a pivot and or pivot and tilt so you can use those and you know he's not a bad size I mean bringing in 
Let me go ahead and get all this oriented. He's very difficult to stand to. His legs are a little loose on mine. Mostly in his ankles, though. Go ahead and bring in Sentinel. So, yeah, he is a little bit smaller than Sentinel. But I'm kind of happy about that because that means Astro Train is going to feel a little bit bigger. So, there is that. I mean, overall, though, I mean, he does have some issues. Uh, they're going to be simple to fix as far as, you know, the little upgrades. Uh, the QC issue with mine, I'll probably just ignore Nucleon as a Titan Master because Galvatron's mostly going to be in robot mode on my shelf anyways. So once I get those pieces, I'm probably I'm just getting the gray one, which will fit here. It's not going to be too big of a deal because it's just going to match up with the gun. Uh, the helmet, though, I'll probably paint that along with a good amount of the rest of the purple on here. Maybe a, a couple shades lighter. That way it's all uniform. And because this purple is just a little too dark for me. I mean, if it were closer to what I'm seeing here on the camera. That'd be better. Um, the la the bright lavender that the Takara one is just doesn't work for me either. If it was a balance between those two, kind of like what we got with a uh, masterpiece shockwave, or I mean that, that that's really the only one I can think of is masterpiece shockwave. If it was closer to that instead of the bright pale powdery lavender. I'd be all over it, but I'll just spend the couple of extra dollars to get the lighter purple. Also planning on painting these kind of gunmetal gray or silver. Maybe these medium gray. I don't know. I'll get to that bridge and cross it when I come to it. So, And then this has been Dalton the Daltonian TFs. Uh, oh, one other thing. Uh, you can use this little seat here as a well, seat for your Titan Masters for the big base modes so as I can Get this off here. There we go. So if you wanted to, you can have Nucleon or Megatron using this giant cannon or double cannon, I guess, if you want to consider this one. Or, yeah, I mean, this could be like a mortar cannon and this just a stationary. Or both as giant mortar cannons. I mean, that's up to you. So. This has been Dalton of Daltonian TFs. Hope you enjoyed this review of Megatron as he is now without a head, so it looks kind of creepy. Uh, other than that, not much else to say. I mean, like I said, he has issues. It's going to be easy to fix. Plan on painting them. Uh, other than that, not too much else to say. So, if you want to, check out my Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. You can check that. Wait, I think I already. If you want to check out my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, you can do that down in the description. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to stop rambling now because it is late. And I will see you all next time. So we'll see you then.